Let's work on part B in this video. So suppose now that the effort is verifiable and the workers can agree on the levels of the effort if they decide to work together. What is going to be the effort level, income and utility if they work together? Under what condition will they do so? So what's the intuition here? Now the workers care about maximizing the team production, not the individual production. So they have to take this into account in their utility function. They still maximize the utility to make themselves happy, but they will do so considering that they produce for the team, not just for themselves. Let's see how this works out and the results are also going to show the difference between this case and the previous case. So what's the utility going to look like? We will have, we will have the following. Um, we will have the utility, which again is going to be symmetrical because each worker thinks in the same way. Each worker is considering to maximize the uh, team production. What is the team production? Well, it is the value that they can sell the product on the market. That's going to be the price. They can sell the product at the level of price um, multiplied with the quantity produced. But the quantity produced now is beta times the joint effort. So we will have beta times, we will have beta times E1 plus E2. Uh, okay, and we have to keep in mind that they care about each worker. So they will take into account the cost of worker of the first guy. So theta of E1 to the power of two and minus also the cost of effort of the second guy, minus one over two, one over two theta E2 to the power of two. Now, why is this the case? Because of course, if they produce as a team, right? And they care about the team production. They also have to keep in mind that that worker who helps them to produce more is also incurring a cost, a cost, a cost of effort. So that's why they take it into account. Uh, now, what do we do? We maximize the utility. If we maximize the utility with respect to the first guy, we will get the same result as maximizing the utility with respect to the second guy because the functions are symmetrical. So let's do so. What do we get as a result? Well, over here we have the constants. So P times beta times E1. We're left only with P times beta. So we write P times beta. Uh, on the second term, we have everything related with E2, but we're differentiating with respect to E1. So that derivative is going to be just zero. Now we go, we go over here, minus one over two theta E1 to the power of two. When we differentiate that with respect to E1, we're left with one over two theta times E1 squared derivative is just two E1. And when we go to the final term, again, we have something related with E2, but we're differentiating with respect to E1. So the derivative of this term is just gonna be zero. We make that equal to zero. Yeah, we make that equal to zero. Um, okay, so what do we have? Two and two cancels out. We have P times beta is equal to theta multiplied with EI. And if we divide both sides, if we divide both sides by theta, what do we get as a result? The effort level, the optimal effort level of the first guy, of the second guy as well. This is the first guy. It's gonna be the same as the second guy is equal to P times beta divided by theta. Now, before going further, let's just compare this one with the previous one. This is the effort level at this moment. Whereas before in the previous video, when they were thinking only about their own utility without maximizing team production, they were putting effort level of P over theta. What happens now? The effort is, is increased by the coefficient beta. Beta is the effect of working in a team because working in a team makes it more, uh, you know, the coordination, the cooperation and all that helps produce more. They are willing to put more effort because in return, they know they can uh, make more products, sell more, make more money, more happiness. Hope this all makes sense. Now, with that said, with this effort in mind, we can calculate also the income that they get. And the income must also be shared because they work as a team, they split the money as a team. So we need to know how much money they make in total, which is gonna be the, uh, the price times the quantity in total produced. And then we just divide that by two because each one receives a half of it. So we would have price times the quantity produced is beta multiplied with the effort levels. So we will have the optimal effort level multiplied by two because the effort levels are symmetrical. So P times beta divided by theta is the effort of the first guy and it's gonna happen for the same guy as well. So we just multiply this by two. Okay, let's open the brackets to see how the math works out over here. We will have P times beta times P times beta. Well, that's just P square beta square divided by theta multiplied by two. This is, this is the total income that they produce as a team now, if you want to get just for one guy, we have to share it into two, meaning we'll divide this, we will divide this by two to find out what is the income level of one guy. So the income level of one guy is just gonna be P square times beta square divided by theta. Now, again, let's compare this result with the previous result. This is the income, whereas before the income used to be, the income used to be over here, 
P squared divided by theta. What do we notice? The wage, the income, increased by this coefficient of beta squared, which again shows the effect of working in a team. It leads to more income produced. Now, uh, this is getting a bit long. Let's stop here. Next video, we'll calculate the utility function and the condition under which they work together.